Hi beauties, CK here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Sephora Play unbagging. And first I want to show this really adorable coffee mug that my mom made me. It says wake up and makeup and then it has CK Beauty. It is not reversed so I believe it's backwards for you guys. But it's still super cute. The only problem is, is it's so tiny. I forgot to get the bigger size coffee cups. So I think what I'm going to do is like maybe put my brushes in it and then I'll get an even bigger one because everybody knows I need a really big cup of coffee in the morning. So I will definitely be getting another one of those made up. Let's go ahead and get into our bag. So the theme is welcome to the beauty boardwalk oh summer nights and that has all the stuff on it there's this cute little pamphlet and then it has the 50 points which i kind of wish i heard something about maybe they would putting these on online because i don't have a sephora near me so i never get to use my points but i digress let's get into the bag i actually like the bag this month it has this cute hot pink lace and then it's like a neon sign it says hot 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 super cute like it so let's see what do we have oh we have a milk makeup kush mascara and yes so I think the reason it says kush is because it has um, cannabis oils in it. It's supposed to also have some fibers that like catch on to the eyelashes. I do not have anything on my um, eyelashes and nothing on my lips because I did get a sneak peek at what is in here and I will be using those products. So it's in the color Boom or shade, color shade. And I could use a new mascara, so hopefully this guy works good. This is what the brush looks like. Super clustered, nice thick brush. Clean off. Probably should pull out my mirror. I kind of like it. It's hard to do it in the little viewfinder thing, but I will definitely be giving this a try, and if it is good, I will be getting full size. The next thing in the bag is a little bit dusty. It is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. So I believe I got something like this in my... Um, did I get it in my Sephora or my Ipsy? It might have been in my Ipsy or my Sephora. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. It definitely has like a menthol-y smell with like maybe a citrusy smell. You can't really get a good look at what's in it. It's got like a light greeny tint to it. Very silicone-y feeling. And a little bit goes a very, very long way. But definitely hydrating. So I will be giving this guy a try. It has like a cooling sensation when you put it on too, which is kind of cool. Alright, next in the bag is Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. So my hair is craziness. I have it in this messy bun. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. That has an actually really good smell to it. I can't pinpoint what it reminds me of. But um, I don't really need volume. But I might give it a try. If not, then um, 
I definitely have cousins who could use this. Let's see. What is next? Next. Um, so I was told everybody is getting this in their Sephora bag. And it is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, Lips. And it is supposed to remove them because it has an oil. I'm not sure if you can see. But there's like an oil base and then the liquid. And then that's supposed to get it to come off without you having to push because sometimes that mascara, like the waterproof kind, stays on so hard and you have to scrub and then you like look and your eyelashes have come off and it's just a hassle to get some of the waterproof uh, makeup off. But this is supposed to work wonders. If this does what it says it does, I will definitely be buying a full size of that guy right there. Alright, next. Aha. Is the Too Faced Melted Matte. And I am new to makeup, so I have nothing from Too Faced. This is the first thing that I'm going to be trying out. And everybody that I've seen says that Too Faced is really great. So, it is in the shade Queen Bee. It is a, like a mauve Rose nude. The scent is kind of like a plastic smell, but the color is nice and it dries down matte. So I like this product. Oh, let me do a hand swatch too. Sometimes when it's on your lips, it doesn't show as nice. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It is a, like a rosy purple mauve nude. I will definitely be using this. It's already drying down nicely. Alright, and the very last thing in the bag is a Prada Candy Sugar Pop perfume. Let's go ahead and get in this cute little packaging. Get this guy out. Oh, yay! It's a spray. <laughs> I have such troubles with those pull-off corky ones and stuff. But let's go ahead. Maybe. I'm not strong enough. There we go. Hmm. I do like it. And it does have like a sweet little sugary like after note. Like at first it smells like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not sure. I do like it. It does have like a little candy. I can get why it says sugar pop. It has like a little candy after scent that trails off after the very strong scent that's there. I'm not good with like saying what's in a perfume, but it does smell pleasant and I will definitely use it. And it's nice to get these little samples because I'm not sure what kind of perfumes I like just yet. But this one has a nice scent to it. It's not too, too strong, but it is fairly strong. And that is everything that I got in my bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you will hit that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. And to the people who are subscribed already, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. It means the world to me that you guys are supporting me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.